to battle. Hi everyone, it's the Wolf and Fortress of Solitude, and I'm back once again taking a look at some more awesome toys. Now, recently I've talked extensively and I've even written about how much I love Play Monster's new range of Snapship toys. And what I love about these toys is that while the actual toys themselves come with uh, great instructions on how to build the featured ships, seeing as it's a modular system which allows you to slot together various parts to build these unique little spaceships. One of the things that, that actually happens is as you start building these ships and you work through the instruction manual, you'll start to kind of un unlock your imagination and realize exactly what is possible. You'll realize that you can actually build various different ships just using these parts. You can mix and match, you can take some of the parts from the complex ships, now that's the bad guys, and some of the forward ships, those are the good guys, and basically blend them together to create your own unique spaceship. Now, ever since I've started reviewing the snapships and started unboxing them and, and just starting to play with them, um, my kids and I have, have wondered if we would be able to recreate some of our favorite spaceships from pop culture. As a huge Star Wars fan, I was initially thinking of maybe recreating some of my favorite uh, Star Wars starships. What I was kind of uh, hesitant at first with was that Star Wars stars, spaceships each have their own unique silhouette, something that's really recognizable. And I was worried that you just wouldn't be able to get that perfect silhouette, you know, that you would be able to recognize as a specific, specific Star Wars spaceship. Now, luckily, after fiddling a bit, we were able to recreate two of my personal favorite Star Wars starships. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a close up view at, at these two starships and just show you how you can connect these snapships parts from various sets and actually create your own unique starship. Either one that you think of yourself or one that is based on something that you uh, saw on TV or on film. So without further ado, let me quickly show you these two Star Wars ships. Build to battle. Now, as mentioned, most of the parts that we used in recreating these two Star Wars ships actually came from this set. Now, this is the Snap Ships uh, play set that includes the Falx SC-41 Escort and the Wasp Claw Heavy Fighter. Now, for those who aren't familiar with Snap Ships, these are the Forge ships, well, Forge uh, Faction ships. These are the good guys. And then these spiky ships are the complex. These are the bad guys. Now, we were able to take parts from both these ships and combine them and to actually recreate two Star Wars ships. Now I'm going to show you what these ships actually look like. So first off is the, the forward ship that comes in the set. And you'll see again, it's a very blocky shaped ship. Um, and you've got your little cockpit there for your little pilot. Um, really, again, a nice looking ship. And this is the ship that you'll be building using the instructions from that set. And then the next one is the complex ship. The bad guys, you'll see again, loads of spikes. A uh, little cockpit here at front, in the front, um, little little fins that can move, which were actually quite handy in building the Star Wars ships. But again, while looking at them, you wouldn't think that you'll be able to actually connect some of these parts to build Star Wars ships. Now, without further ado, let me show you the two Star Wars ships we created. So, dum 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 de dum dum de dum. Dum 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 de dum dum de dum. Now, Star Wars fans should be able to recognize these two silhouettes as the X-wing and the Tie Interceptor. Now, I'm going to show you a quick close-up of the actual X-wing. Let's get the Tie Interceptor out of here for now. So, again, you'll notice that this is actually a part from the the good guy ship, the Forge ship, and these are those spiky fins from the complex ship. Now, as you, as you imagine, the ship has all the details that you'll find in a TIE fighter. So you've got the wings that can actually close and open. You've got your little cockpits for your rebel fighter pilot. I mean, you've got all the boosters and, and jets that you'll need to, to fly through space. Um, you've got your little, your little weapons here. So, all, I mean, all in all, this is as close as you can get to an X-Wing without having an actual X-Wing, I think, an X-Wing model. I mean, I was really impressed with, actually, just if you look at all the little parts, how easy and how few parts you have to connect to actually build an X-Wing. So, you know, as I've mentioned before, these parts just basically slot in there nice and tight. 
There you go. And that is the X-Wing. Next up is the TIE Interceptor. Now, you'll notice that this again, it uses the gray parts from the Ford ship and then the purple and black parts from the complex ship. So again, it's the amalgamation of good, good faction and bad faction parts uh, from the snap ship's uh, range. Um, again, a little cockpit there for your stormtrooper to fit in. You've got your blasters on the side. You've got these iconic fins at the, at the front. There you have your boosters at the back. And overall, I mean, this again looks as close as you can get to an TIE Interceptor without actually having a model of one. And as with the X-Wing, I mean, it's literally just a little, little peg, slots into that hole, and there you go. It's nice and snug in there. And again, I mean, there's even little panels that you can slot into these holes to cover up, you know, a lot of these open um, areas. So you'll see that you've got, you know, little, if you've got little holes that, 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 that are bothering you and you'd like a more cleaner silhouette, you just slot in these little panels, they stick in there. I mean, there you have it. So, like I said, with snap ships, it's literally just your, your imagination that limits you. So, whatever your mind can come up with, you should be able to build with the snap ships modular system. Um, and, I mean, here's the proof. You've got a X-Wing and a TIE Interceptor. to battle.